What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be going over the top 5 budget AR-15s that I think are worth a lot more than what you pay for them. Alright, so let's get right into this review. So like I said before the intro rolled, we are going to be going over the top 5 budget AR-15s that are super high value. So before I really get into talking about these rifles, I would like to say if you like this video and you find the information useful, please go hit that subscribe and like button down below. And while you're down there, go check out the merch. We just released new merch and just hit over a thousand subscribers. Super excited about it. The merch is comfy. Alright, so you should definitely go check it out and tell me what you think of it. Alright. So let's get right into talking about these rifles and I'd like to start out by talking about probably the least expensive rifle on this list at the time of this recording. Alright, so it is the Palmetto State Rifle. This is the 5.56 uh, version. This is a kit build. I built this thing. I bought a lower. I bought everything else for it. It came in right around $400. Alright, and it is served me great it was a really nice rifle it shoots about like you'd expect I get about two MOA out of it and I couldn't ask for much more um, there's nothing special that came with the rifle there's no it, it came with iron sights or magpul flip ups which have recently been changed out on it but other than that that's about all that this rifle come with. It was super simple. It didn't have a very nice grip. It didn't have a very nice stock. It just had normal Magpul stuff. But for $400, I don't think you could really beat it. Now, because of everything going on in the world, prices have went up. I think it's about $600 now to do what I did for $400. And uh, I still think it's probably worth the value. Um, the PSA rifles are very reliable, very good, and I've had all kinds of luck with it. Alright? So, Let's talk about the next rifle on the list of inexpensive to expensive, and it is the Anderson. So we have the Anderson AR-15 right here. Um, it has an upgraded rail on it that I put on for about 50 bucks, and uh, it looked kind of similar to this Ruger right here. But the Anderson rifle came in at $500, uh, very standard. It has a normal stock, normal grip, normal trigger, normal everything came with no sights on it at all for 500 bucks and a lot has been done to this rifle but it has been a great shooter it has been incredibly reliable handles cheap ammunition well um, would be good for any kind of like small game varmint hunting and uh, a great plinker without a doubt and uh, something something that should definitely be considered especially if not just the whole rifle the lowers the lowers are about 50 60 bucks a lower and if you're working on a build they're second to none especially for the price point right so that that's our second rifle came in about 500 bucks really really great rifle okay so the next rifle on price point is the diamondback now this is a 6.5 grendel but I'm going to be referring to the 223 version. Um, Diamondback has made a very nice AR-15. This is, like I said, the 6.5 Grendel, and this is not even their newest line. So you can buy this configuration with a 16-inch barrel and black, not Cerakoted, for about 600, 650. Um, last time I checked. And they're priced very reasonably, and I think that they're a very reliable rifle. I use this rifle right here, this DB-15, for everything. This is my go-to deer hunter. This is my go-to uh, coyote, pig, you name it. I do everything with this rifle. And like I said, 600, 650. This 65 Grendel Cerakoted was about 700 and some dollars. And uh, I love it. This has been my favorite rifle so far. And... Uh, it came in about midpoint on this list for prices, all right? So definitely go check out Diamondback, especially if you're looking for a good rifle. They make upgraded versions. Um, they have like three tiers. I'm not exactly sure of the tiers. I know the Diamond series is the newest, the nicest. They come with upgraded triggers, and they come in about a thousand and some dollars, all right? But you can get a very basic one and still get a great rifle. All right. Next on the list is a Ruger. 
Now, this Ruger, prices may vary on this thing. I bought this for 400 and some dollars, but I've also seen them here recently. Brand spanking new for like $650, $700 at Rural King. Um, it all depends on where you get it and who you get it from. This Ruger right here came with uh, flip-ups and a fixed front sight post. I'm not a super big fan of that, but iron sights that come with a rifle is really nice, especially right off the box. Now, this rifle is very reliable. Um, this is a would be a great varmint gun. Um, you can get pretty good groups with the accuracy, about like the PSA, but but a little bit better, I would say. Um, Ruger makes a very great rifle. They make very uh, they make an awesome precision rifle, and, it, and it's right here in their AR-15s as well. You don't really get anything special. You get a standard stock. You get a standard grip, but you do get flip-ups. All right, and you get a uh, a standard forearm for for grip. Whatever. Uh, but nothing special for the rifle, but a very good rifle in itself. All right. And moving on to our final rifle, and the most expensive rifle on the list, but still a very high value rifle, is this rifle right here. This is a Radical Firearms rifle. Uh, it, it's just the upper. The lower is a build that I did. from. It has an Anderson lower. But I just didn't feel like buying the whole rifle when I had a lower. But I do have the upper. All right, This rifle, this upper was about four hundred dollars all right you can buy whole radical firearms uppers for like six hundred six fifty um, even up to seven hundred dollars it just depends on where you get it if you get it from radical or if you find it at your local gun shop but they generally are more the more expensive of the whole entire list but they are a very good shooter this is the best shooting ar-15 that i own um, it is moa or less depending on which bullets i use um, I can get really, really, really good shots with it and think that uh, you can definitely do a lot with this. So the Radical is a very good option, especially if you're wanting some very good accuracy out of it. Now, I do know some people have had problems with the Radicals uh, not, not shooting. Um, I've never had any problems with it. I think they're a great rifle and definitely something to look into. I think they're a high, high value rifle and are worth the the little the little little uptick in price. All right, so definitely something to consider and that everybody should look into. Okay, so I think that about does it for the video, guys. These are my top five AR-15s. If you were looking to buy one on the budget, like I said, PSA, Ruger, um, Radical, Anderson, and Diamondback. Um, some honorable mentions that I've never got into, but I know people have had a lot of luck with and have enjoyed is Bear Creek Arsenal. They make a very inexpensive upper. I did see one of their whole rifles go for like 900 bucks, which is I think is a little overpriced, but it is what it is, and they can charge whatever they want because we live in America. All right? So I think that I'm going to wrap up the video on that note. I really hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys got a lot out of it. If you liked the video, please consider going down below and liking and subscribing. It would mean a ton to me if you guys did that. Um, we're over a thousand now, and because we hit a thousand, like I said before, we dropped some merch. And I really think you guys should go check out the merch. Super comfy. I have both. I have the shirts and the sweatshirt, and they are fantastic to wear. Comfy, awesome stuff. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to wrap it up there. I appreciate everybody for watching, and as always, take someone outdoors. I will see y'all next time.